What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy Nino back with another reaction video. Here we are with Ugly Tourists in Germany. How to upset Germans? Very intrigued, Germans. What what upsets you? What gets under your skin? What makes you mad? I'm gonna let my boy Walter talk to me. Before we do this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media and Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any other. Put all the links in the description. All you gotta do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. I'm human. I talk back. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. What do we got, Walter? Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Freiburg, Germany. And today we're going to talk about how you could upset Germans when you come here as a traveler. Because we want to make sure we're ingratiating ourselves to the locals, and we don't want to do the faux pas that might make our German friends a bit... Ergelich, a little upset, okay? And I think the first thing you need to realize, the first way you can upset a German is just being late. Germans are all about being punknik, about being on time. If you have a meeting and it's at nine o'clock in the morning, that doesn't mean you show up at nine. That means you're in the office, you're in the room where the meeting's gonna happen at 8.55. So right at 9 a.m., the questions start going, okay? So always be on time. And if you're gonna be late, let the people know because um, one, they're, they're not gonna be appreciative that you're late, but they yeah. will wanna know what's going on. No. Exactly. I might have a little German in me. I might have a little German inside me because I can't stand when people are late. If we agree upon a time to meet, then that is the time that you show up. Now, I'm not as strict as a German where you got to be there five minutes early, be in the room waiting. So when the nine o'clock is going down, but be there at the time. Be there at nine is what I'm saying. Show up, walk through the door at nine and, and we good, but don't show up late. I hate that. My time is valuable. Oh, because um, one, they're, they're not going to be appreciative that you're late, but they will want to know what's going on. Now, another thing that might upset your German friends is if you get a little yiny, okay? Which I like to say is yain is yes and no, ja and nein put together, okay? It's kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Look, Germans do not like uncertainty. They do not <laughs> like risk. They want to know what's going on. They want the certainty of, are you coming or not? And if you're kind of flippy floppy, if you're thinking about ghosting your German friends, that stuff doesn't happen here, okay? You need to be more be like, yes, I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to not. Because if okay. you're not, that kind of upsets them because they want to make sure all their plans are set, okay? And I think one of the things important for you to know is since the Germans are very direct, they're not insulted if you're direct to them. So if you don't want to do something or you can't do something, don't try to figure out an excuse. Just let them know, hey, I can't come and they'll be okay with that. But just telling okay. them yes and then not showing up, the whole ghosting yeah. thing, not cool here in Germany, okay? So have a heads up. Now the third way you can upset Germans when you're here is if you assume that everybody in Germany is from Bavaria and wears Lederhosen. Look, people wear <laughs> Lederhosen at Oktoberfest and most of those are actually tourists, okay? Germany is a very diverse country. I mean, going to Munich and Bavaria is a very different experience than going to Hamburg or coming here to Freiburg or going to Berlin. You have such variety in this country that when they think that people are thinking they're all the same and they're all Bavarians with the big beer steins and stuff, that doesn't go over very well. And if you actually know Germans, you'll know that if they're not from Bavaria, they like to make fun of the Bavarians. Now, another oh, wow. thing that tourists do that might upset- I think, I, I like that. I like that because yeah, you shouldn't judge a whole, like a whole country of people. Like how can you say a whole country of people is one thing? It, you, you can't really say that. There's different parts in the country. So of course there's gonna be different cultures. There's gonna be different things. They're gonna have their differences. No two people are the same. So to a whole country, you can't say it's the same. Y'all feel what I'm saying. Keep talking. Walter. They're not from Bavaria. They like to make fun of the Bavarians. Now, another thing that tourists do that might upset the locals and it definitely will upset a few omas, grandmas, and opas, grandpas along the way is if you jaywalk. And when I talk about mm. jaywalking, I'm not saying like the middle of the road. I'm saying when you're at the crosswalk and the, the little Anthemenchen, the, the, the streetlight guy is there telling you don't walk and you go. I mean, I lived in Germany for a number of years, and when I've done that, like, people really put their arm out and stop me, and they're like, what are you doing? Zion Fulbid for the kinder. Be an example for the children. I'm like, there's no kids around here. There's no cars. What's going on? No. Follow the rules. Otherwise, they're going to be upset. And, and, and crossing the street against the light is one of those things. There's even a saying, by Holt musst du stehen, by Grün darfst du gehen, which is, by red, you have to stay. 
but by green, you're allowed to go, all right? So just know that young, old, male, female, whatever, you just know the Germans are like, no, no, we're gonna wait until the light lets us go, okay? Another thing that might upset your German friends when you're here, and this is one thing that my students that have studied in Germany have brought up to me, and when I've had students have worked with German exchange students, and, and that is, you know, might upset them if you don't agree with them on certain things, because Germans like to do a lot of research. They want to make sure they know as much mm. as they can before they make decisions, so they feel that they have the best answer possible. And if you don't agree with them, they don't understand why you wouldn't, because they've done all this research. So that's where I've seen in business settings and group project settings, where people have gotten some upset feelings from both the Germans and from the locals. So just have a heads up with that. But don't think the Germans are all stiff and, 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 yeah. and no fun. They will do parties. They will have a fun time with the party. And one thing I want to tell you, though, is... It sounds like they just want you to have like as much research as they've done for for why they feel a certain way. They want you to have that kind of research. They want you to have good reasoning behind why you wouldn't agree with, with what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to just disagree based off of emotion, based off of how you feel or anything. They want you to have facts and be like, okay, so this logically, this is why I don't agree. I understand that. I can understand. Keep and no fun. They will do parties. They will have a fun time with the party. And one thing I want to tell you, though, is uh, you might upset people if you don't follow the party rules, okay? Because if your German friend of yours invites you to a party, they're inviting you. Not you and your friend and your other friends. Oh, no, really? no. It's very much just you are invited. There's no plus one. If you want a oh, plus wow. one, you need to ask them. And they'll probably say no, okay, or nine. Um, but just know that they're very specific when they do ask you to come to a party, okay? So, so don't overdo it. Also, I learned this when I lived here for a number of years, is if you're going to be having a party, let's say you're staying here, you're going to school here, you're moving here, and you want to have a party and it's in your apartment building, you need to let your neighbors know that you're going to have that party. I mean, you don't have to invite them, but you need to let them know it's going to happen. Otherwise, they might be a little upset, which I learned uh, from a lady dumping a bucket of water into my apartment. So just have a heads up on that one. Now, another time you might see an upset German, and this isn't like dumping a bucket of water into his apartment. Say well, upset, which I learned uh, from a lady dumping a bucket of water into my apartment. So just wow. have a heads up on that one. Now, another time you might see an upset German, and this isn't your fault at all. This is their fault is if you're taking a train on a Friday or a Sunday when they're really, really busy and you have a seat reservation and you go to your seat <laughs> reservation on the ICE and somebody's sitting in that seat and you tell them, uh, and surely they go, that's just mine, that's just mine. Like, excuse me, this is mine. Oh, they're not gonna be happy because they got this seat <laughs> and they're figuring no one's gonna show up in it. So they're gonna take it without a reservation. Don't be surprised if they ask you to show your reservation to prove it's your seat. And then they'll look at you like, oh, you took my seat. No, lady, didn't take your seat. I spent the four euros to get the reservation, all right? So uh, do have a heads up for that. Now, sometimes you don't even realize you're upsetting people when you travel, and that's okay. And the Germans have a fantastic way of letting you know that you messed up. And that's when you hear, hallo. When you hear someone say hello really loud, I mean, if it's soft, it's hello, it's like hello. But if it's hello, it's like hello, moron, you're doing something <laughs> wrong. Whether you went in the wrong door to the museum, or you're in the wrong bathroom, or you're, you're doing something you're not supposed to, or your kids are doing something stupid. Look, that hello will let you know that you upset somebody, all right? So just have a heads up when you hear that, because you'll be like, what, what, what's something here? It's just a way they get your attention. I like that. Hello. I was start, I was start saying that. I mean, I see somebody doing it. Hello. I like that, German. All right, all right Germany. Just have that. a heads up when you hear that, because you'd be like, what, what, what's something here? It's just a way they get your attention, all right? Now, another thing you might do that might hurt your German friend's feelings is insinuate that they're cheap. Now, Germans are cool if you say they're frugal, they're economical, no problem with that. But if you insinuate that they're cheap, that's when they're like, hey, I'm, I'm, we're not cheap. We, we, we've got money. I'm like, I know, I know. But the thing is, is if you talk to, you know, in Canada and the U.S., you talk to waiters about tipping. They don't like German tourists because they don't tip as well. Now, they leave some money, but they don't usually, usually leave the 50 to 20 percent like you're supposed to. They'll leave like 5 percent or $3 on a $100 bill, you know? So oh, it is one of those things that if you insinuate like, dude, that's kind of cheap, you'll see them be upset. And I'm sure in the comments <laughs> below, you, you'll see those things there. Or you might invite them over to a party, and you're like, hey, you know, we're all bringing a potluck over, bring some food, and they might show up from, with some Maggi spaghetti instead of something else. So don't 
don't don't insinuate they're cheap. It won't go over well. All right. Just say very economical choice, very frugal choice, smart business move. Okay. So have a heads up with that. Now yeah. another thing that you'll learn very quickly is the way you're gonna upset your German friend. I did. Friend. I did see the uh, on another radical living's video when it was like American invested versus German invested, and they had both got a bonus, and the German was literally like this. Hiding all the money in different places in the house, just hiding bits of money in each part of the house, and then they took like twenty dollars, maybe out of like the three hundred, four hundred dollar bonus, or a thousand. I think it was a thousand, thousand dollar bonus, and they were like, "All right, this, this is what I got to spend." And so I, that that does make sense. With that, now another thing that you'll learn very quickly is the way you're gonna upset your German friends is if you try to take their food or their drink. Because you know in some countries when you order food, like everybody's food's kind of everybody else's and we can try this. Like we're in Italy, like, oh, try this, have some of this, have some of this polenta. Oh, wow. Portugal, it's like every plate is everybody's, right? Really? In Germany, it's not that way. That's my bratwurst. Yeah. That is my yeah. spetzel. That is my beer. You don't get it. And so if you go- I'm just, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm the same way, Jerry. I, I, that's my, if I ordered it and I'm paying for it, that's my food. It, I didn't order this to share. If you wanted it, you should have ordered it. You feel me? My bratwurst. That is my spetzo. That is my beer. You don't get it. And so if you go and take some, especially without asking, it's going to upset them. And if you do ask, they say yes. Just know in their mind, they're like, ich will den nein sagen. I wanted to say no. But they were very polite and said yes. So just know they don't, they don't like sharing their stuff. Okay? If you've gotten this far in the video, another thing you might notice that Germans might not like and that you might upset them with is if you point out any of the eccentricities of the Germans and German mm -hmm. culture. So look in the comments below and you'll notice some comments of people like pointing out some things I'm messing up and how they're going to be right about it. Okay? Now another way you might upset Germans when you come here is if you recycle wrong. I mean, I lived here a number of years and the recycle program here is legit. The Grüne Punkt it's like this little like arrow going around. It's called the Green Point. They have lots and lots of different kinds of recycling here. So it's not just paper and plastic. It's paper, plastic, glass, different kinds of glass, oh, all wow. kinds of stuff that's out there. They have that set up and people are very serious about it. So you want to make sure you're putting the right stuff in the right recycle bin and the right garbage going in the right place because they do a really good job with that. And it really upsets people when you don't. And there's things economically that will get you to incentivize you to make sure recycling correctly because they have these things called a fund, a deposit like on beer glasses and or sorry, yeah, beer glasses, oh. but like beer bottles and soda bottles and stuff like that. So you don't just throw it away. You take it back, get your money back so they can recycle it easier. Okay, so it. be aware I of that it. one. Now, my next one for you that might upset the Germans when you're here is if you drive in Germany, not like a German. Look, Germans are very much, we're about our auto, our car, right? And so they've got the Autobahn when they're going way faster than you think you are. So move over because you staying in the left lane, that Indiana drivers, you can't do that here in Germany. You got to stay to the right because people will pass you by. No matter how fast you think you're going, someone else is going to zoom past you in a Porsche, a BMW, or Mercedes, all right? And Germans do get upset when people don't drive the German way when they're here. So I do recommend maybe take a class about driving or watch some videos on driving in Germany before you come because then you'll be better prepared and less likely to upset and get not necessarily road rage, but just upset Germans driving next to you. And also uh, don't expect a really good cup holder for your, your big gulp in a German car. And they don't understand why. Okay, so so leave that there. All right. And then that's uh, that's funny. I, I, I want to drive on the Autobahn. Uh, I want to just push push your car to its limit. I want to go as fast as I can. That that sounds super fun. But yeah, I, I, I respect what he says. I know that no matter how fast I think I'm going, it's going to be somebody else that just comes zooming by. That's just going to be faster. But I want to experience it. I'm tired of these 75 mile per hour speed limits, man. I, I can't take it. Gulp into Germany. And I wish people drove like, like I guess the German culture, like if you're not going fast, get your butt to the right lane. Get out of the left lane. If you're going the speed limit, why are you in the left lane? This is for passing. Get to the right so the people who want to go fast can go. I, I, I wish. I only wish. German car. And they don't understand why. Okay, so, so leave that there, all right? And then I want to finish off by another thing that really upsets Germans, and that is if you make Nazi jokes. 
Okay. Oh wow. The Nazi, the history of Germany and the Nazi National Socialist Party that was in power here for a number of years in World War II and the Holocaust and everything is a horrible, it is a stain on the world history, not just German history, but the world's Big history. Time. And if you make light of that, you make Nazi jokes, you make Hitler jokes and stuff like that, that does not go over well here. People do not like that. That is that is something that they're ashamed of themselves. And and you may think you're oh, it's a fun joke, I'm poking fun at things. It's not. It is not something that you joke about when you are here, okay? Because that will upset the locals, and I just want you to know that, all right? So those are some ways that you might upset your German friends when you're here in Germany, but what are some ways you've accidentally upset some of your German friends? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, I have another video on how Germans get upset when they travel to the U.S., which is kind of a fun play on this video to give Ooh. it from the other perspective when they go to the U.S. Anyway, I, I wish y'all the best. That. I'll say bye from here in Freiburg. I like that video. Uh... That was nice to react to. See see what gets under the German skin. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. But that's all we got for this one. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Give the video a thumbs up so it gets the suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy, Dina. Out.